If you breed a powerful lion with a ferocious tiger, what would you get? A liger. Wouldn't that just be awesome? And imagine how much deadlier that new creature would be. Although ligers sound a little far-fetched, believe it or not, they aren't just part of a kid's imagination. Ligers are real, and of course, they're out there to get you in the real world and not just in your dreams. Quick, turn around, there's one coming at you. Before you get shredded into pieces and eventually mince meat, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button so you can get updated with new interesting videos that the lager and your mince meat can watch later on. First things first, you don't have to worry about ligers getting you out in the wild because they only exist in captivity. Zoos, animal safari parks, sanctuaries, and menageries. It is estimated that there may be less than 100 ligers in existence, although the exact number is unknown. The first to take care of ligers was the Bloemfontein Zoo in South Africa in as early as 1935. Today, the USA is thought to hold the most number of ligers at 46, although there may be more in privately owned facilities. China is the second place where you could spot a liger. China is said to have 21 ligers in its zoos. And lastly, Russia has about 12 ligers in its custody. Apart from USA, China, and Russia, only a handful of countries have ligers. These countries include South Korea, South Africa, Philippines, United Arab Emirates, Indonesia, Thailand, Argentina, and Libya. There are no official reports of ligers living in the wild, but there are rumors and speculations. In the 19th century, it was rumored that large brown cats that were larger than both lion and tiger were spotted in India on the countryside. Some believed them to be ligers. Currently, there is one patch of forest in western India where lions and tigers share the same habitat. So in theory, those large brown cats could have been ligers living in the wild, fully independent of human intervention. And it would be interesting enough to say, most ligers alive today have been a result of accidental mating taking place in captivity where lions and tigers were held together. On the other hand, some specialists believe they would not be able to survive in the wild. One reason being its size. Due to its huge size, food would be insufficient and ligers would tire out more quickly and not be able to successfully catch anything it would be chasing. Another reason is that male ligers have a hard time reproducing. And to this date, there has not been a pure liger cub. Mentions of these hybrid species go back to the early 18th century in India. And the term liger first started to be used in the 1930s. The exact origin of these animals are not known, but ligers were first documented by French naturalist Etienne Geoffroy saint hilaire who in 1798 made a color plate of the offspring of a lion and a tiger. The first two baby ligers to be born in India were presented King William IV and Queen Victoria in 1837. In 1897, more ligers were born in Hamburg, Germany. However, it was in 1902 that a man, A. H. Bryden, wrote about ligers in his Animal Life and the World of Nature magazine for what they really were, lion-tiger hybrids. So what are ligers really like? First off, lions and tigers are different species of cat and have different lifestyle and habitat. Of course, lions and tigers don't look the same and don't behave alike. On the other hand, ligers have characteristics of both these species. Ligers have large muscular bodies and dark yellowish fur. Their body structure, including their heads, are more similar to a lion, although they do have faint stripes on their body like that of a tiger. Male ligers also grow manes, but it is not as impressive as a lion's mane. Their tails are more like that of a tiger, but their roars resemble that of a lion. But in some cases, they also do sound like a tiger. Ligers are highly social, and if they were left in the wild, they would probably live in prides, like lions. But some also assume that they would prefer a tiger's habitat, as ligers are good swimmers and like to be around water. A liger can reach speeds of 60 miles per hour and can easily bring down its prey because of its huge size. An average liger can weigh around 900 pounds. In comparison, lions and tigers can only weigh a maximum of 500 and 600 pounds respectively. Ligers can also grow to be 12 feet in length, and the biggest liger is a whopping 1,600 pounds, 
making ligers the biggest cats in the world. Ligers are also the largest carnivorous animal on land, and second largest in the world after the Southern Elephant Sea. Due to its huge size, tigresses need to have a C-section in order to give birth to a liger, and compared to a lion cub that would reach about 9 pounds in 60 days, a liger reaches 16 pounds in 60 days. Ligers can eat up to 100 pounds in a single meal, so they are prone to obesity. Their caretakers tend to feed them only 25 pounds of food every day. There is a misconception that due to crossbreeding and hormonal imbalances, they continue to grow throughout their lives, but that has been proven incorrect. Male lions and tigers become violent and territorial as they mature whereas ligers remain calm throughout their entire lives. Now, ligers have seemed to be peaceful, but there has been an incident in 2008 that occurred in one of the animal sanctuaries where a liger, Rocky the liger, attacked the caretaker and wounded him fatally. Rocky the liger was the only liger to have killed a human being, and there was a debate whether Rocky should be put down or not. At the end, he wasn't, but Rocky eventually died in 2014 of natural causes. Now that's a lot about ligers. So if people have had ideas of crossbreeding male lions and female tigers, sure enough they have had ideas of crossbreeding male tigers and female lions, right? Yes, tigans. Although they are harder to breed, there are a small number of successfully bred tigans. Another reason for lesser number of tigans could be the fact that they are smaller and less attractive and interesting for the public. Like ligers, tigans have traits and characteristics like their parents. The only major difference between the two hybrid species is that a tigan grows to about the same size as a lion, whereas ligers are much bigger. Tigans resemble more of a tiger than a lion, as their stripes are more visible, although the male species also have a mane. Lastly, tigans are not as muscular as their parents. Not only have we successfully bred lions and tigers, but Myrtle Beach Safari in South Carolina have a wonder of nature you might want your eyes to feast upon. A white liger. That's right, a combination of a white lion and a white tiger. There are only 300 white lions left in the world, and 1,200 white tigers. As of 2013, Myrtle Beach Safari has four white ligers. They are named Yeti, Odin, Samson, and Apollo, and they are the offspring of a white lion named Ivory and a white tigress named Saraswati. Now that we have been successful in our experiments of ligers and tigans, we have to go on to the next level. Otherwise, it's just not fun enough. So far, we have mated male lions and female tigers, and male tigers and female lions. Now it's time for the titigons, tiligers, litigons, and liligers. All these hybrid species are the result of either a female tigan or female liger, with a male tiger or male lion. In each of these combinations, the cubs resemble more of its father's species. There are of course differences in their appearance between all of the hybrid species. So far, there have been no successful pair between two ligers or two tigans, or a mixture of a liger and a tigan. For those of you who are interested in all these combinations, let's know that there are side effects of crossbreeding these cat species. Firstly, there is an issue of infertility with the males. Secondly, as ligers and tigans are a result of two different species that have two different behavioral patterns, they end up having emotional and behavioral conflicts. For example, they have both a lion's roar and a tiger's chuff. Then there is the possibility that female ligers have mixed feelings of being part of a pride while also wanting to live in isolation like typical tigers. Another issue these species face is the fact that their purebred mothers become confused by her cub's odd behavior. Due to these behavioral and emotional problems, not everyone is in support of crossbreeding these cat species. And when it comes to giving birth to a liger, it poses a threat to the mother's lives. As a matter of fact, it is illegal in Taiwan to practice pairing two different animal species. However, liger specialists are doing further study on ligers and trying to debunk these issues. Which other animals do you think could be successfully crossbred? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click the like button and give a thumbs up. See you in our next video.